Hey everybody, uh, quite a while ago now I made a video on making a radius cutter uh, at a project. And the project is finally done. It took forever because I don't have much time. Anyhow, we'll put it together. There's this piece here. The base of it all. I have this vise mounted on a forklift fork. There's this little pin here. This is a one inch uh, grade eight bolt. This is a chunk of seven eighths inch stick plate. Has some holes drilled in it. Put that guy right in there. And we have this die here, which uh, trying to be all things to all people here. I want to bend one inch tube. That's what this is. A friend of mine needs to bend uh, half inch stainless steel round stock. So well, that's what this screw is. Before I get too far ahead of myself, this spacer here. This whole affair goes together like so. This around to a tiny spot where it drops in. Follower die here. And here. And a pin. Like that. You know, here's where it gets tricky. This is uh, what I came up with here to hold. the stock in place while it's being bent. And there's this arrangement right here. This tube is fairly substantial. It's uh, one inch diameter, and it's uh, it's point one two zero wall, so one hundred and twenty thousand thick, or roughly three millimeters. And it takes a bit of doing to bend it. I would not want to try to bend anything any thicker than this. to me. Pull the pin, follow the die out, loosen this off, and that, and there's our bend. Now, 
it looks pretty decent to me. Um, it has a little distortion on the inside, which you would expect. And uh, it's a pretty nice uniform bend. The only flaw that I can find with it is at the end of the bend, you have a little dimple right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right in here from the follower die compressing the pipe. But it's really pretty insignificant for what I'm trying to do. I'm pretty satisfied with these results. I really don't have anything to complain about here. Um, I guess that's about all for now. Thanks.